Everyone always talks about how men can talk to them about their feelings. But no matter how much a guy is going through the people you try to talk to don't listen or don't care. That is why men just keep it all in because they will just be told men can't cry or you are being overdramatic. I'm starting to realize how long some men will go without doing self-care just because it's not in their nature. It's because we're raised to think that way. By our parents, by society. We're taught over and over again that our feelings do not matter. All that matters is what we can do. Broken leg? Walk it off. What are you, a baby? There's no focus on men's feelings. Why do you think mama's boys exist? Because it's the only person that'll actually care for them. Not all moms, though. Trust me. Anytime you do anything to take care of yourself, you get made fun of by your friends, by your work, by everybody. Look at the man flu memes. I'm a disabled veteran. You know how I got to be that way? Because I got told to push through everything. And I did. And I broke a whole bunch of stuff that I probably shouldn't have. And even after that, I still waited years to even go in to get seen about it. Because we keep getting told, suck it up, nobody cares. You're here to work. You can't work, you're worthless. What are those feelings? You must be gay. What's that? You're a man and you got raped? That can't happen. Oh, trust me, it can. I know all too well. Why do you think more men go crazy and snap than women? I mean, yes, there's a lot of reasons, but a big one is everything gets pushed down until it can't be held any longer. Interesting facts about men. This first fact is for the ladies. If your man forgets something that is important to you, it does not mean that he doesn't love you. Men also love it when you can have fun and flirt with them at the same time. And men can only sustain love for a woman who follows her own heart above all else. Also, which should be a no-brainer, men and women think and love differently. So the way he shows or says his love is different from you. It's not wrong. It's just different. Instead, you guys should celebrate each other's differences. I should really start an advice column. And lastly, you have to treat your man like a man. In return, he'll cherish, desire, and make you his number one priority. Shout out to Susan Blackburn, psychotherapist in Toronto. Okay, bye. Girls, this is how to understand us men in a nutshell when it comes to relationships. As men, and man, you can correct me if I'm wrong, all we look for in relationships is for a girl to be our peace. The way we see the world is literally filled with pure stress. If you grew up with old-fashioned parents, which in my case, I did, we feel pressure from young because we think, oh, you got to provide, you got to be successful, you got to make money. That creates a domino effect of stress. But when it comes to girls, and I'm talking about a relationship, we look for someone that we can just talk to. And when we talk to you, forget that stress. Someone who's emotionally available, someone who's secure within themselves, someone who isn't going to bring any extra problems, but instead provides peace. <laughs> That's literally it. If you can provide a man peace, he'll fight for you in a heartbeat. I can answer that. Because y'all don't care about us. Y'all only care about what we can do for you. Not how we feel. None of that. Only thing that really matters is how you feel. Men have literally been, been made to only be their wallet. If you're not making a certain amount of money, you're not important to anybody as a man. You could be the best dude in the world. But if you're not making no money, you do not mean jack doodle squat. Your feelings don't mean nothing. None of that. Only thing girls nowadays worry about is their own feelings. But they want somebody else to come along and make them happy. And it's crazy because dudes are really starting to wake up and see how you women really feel about us. We nothing but an object. And the crazy part about it is that y'all scream that y'all so objectified. But we're only a thing that makes money for y'all. If we got a problem, we got to deal with it. If we got a problem with the way that you act, we got to keep it to ourselves. If stuff is getting a little bit too hard, still got to keep it to ourselves. Can't come to you about how I really feel because you don't really care. They don't take our feelings seriously. Our feelings are a joke until we end up dead because of them. Understanding men part, I don't even know at this point. I always have to remind you to do this. You always forget. I understand that you're just trying to tell them how you feel about it, but the way that you word it makes them feel like you're disappointed in them. So I would just say, be conscious of what you're saying to your partner when you're upset with them. Because yeah, they may make a mistake. They may not have done it the way that you wanted it. But is that more important or how you talk to your partner more important? 
because them making that mistake of missing the exit or forgetting to pick something up isn't as detrimental as how you treat your partner. Or starting the conversation in attack mode. Do you even know what you're doing? I am tired of you always doing it this way. The same way men need to be empathetical when it comes to their wife or girlfriend's problems, a woman has to understand where a man's coming from when they bring up topics in that way. They don't handle criticism that way. They either shut down or they attack back. The second key thing I teach my daughters when it comes to men is that although typically men aren't that well-versed when it comes to understanding or processing emotions, what they do understand and what they understand well is respect. Respect is everything to a man. It's the core of who he is. It's the pride in who he is as a man. Respect means everything to them. Respect is how they feel loved. That's what they equate to being loved. That's how they receive love. So when a woman that a man loves disrespects him, it's extremely damaging because again, for a man to open up, that goes against everything that he was taught as a child because men are taught to hold everything in, to not show emotion. So when a man makes the choice to trust a woman with his heart and to be vulnerable with her and to open up to her and she chooses to disrespect him, that makes a man feel like she doesn't care. She doesn't care about him. She doesn't care about his feelings. So he'll feel like he's not loved by her. He's not wanted by her. And once that happens, he's going to begin to detach emotionally. He's going to detach from that connection and from that relationship. Because again, for you to not show a man respect is the same thing as him not showing you love. When a man doesn't feel respected, it's the same thing when a woman doesn't feel loved. So the same way a woman will begin to shut down when she doesn't feel loved by her man is the same way a man will begin to detach emotionally and shut down when he doesn't feel loved by his woman. Disrespect is one of the most damaging things that you can do to a man that you say you love. And typically, once a man has been disrespected by a woman he loves, he's never going to view her the same way. He's not going to look at her in the same light. And there may be some people that were able to get back to how it was. I'm sure. But most men, they never view that woman the same. Most men, they're never going to give you the same version of him. Because he took a chance and you disrespected him. You took a chance and you showed him that you don't love him and you don't care about his feelings because respect is what they equate and disrespect damages men. Why did no one tell me that men just don't just don't get told nice things? So, yeah, guys don't take compliments well. We don't fucking get them. It's so rare. It is so rare, especially, especially from other men. That's not a fucking thing. That is not a fucking thing. Sure, sometimes your mom will hit you with a, hey, you look good, you know, you're handsome, whatever. You know, you're my baby bull, you're handsome. Okay, thanks, mom. I get it, I love you. Outside of your mom and sometimes your spouse, you get nothing from nobody else. Not a damn thing from anybody. And we're just conditioned to live you know like to live with that that's just how we are we were taught from a young age that guys don't get compliments as a man your feelings don't matter your emotions don't matter your man suck it the fuck up you're feeling sad oh fucking well you're feeling ugly because you are like it's toxic but it's taught from a young age I can't speak for all men by any means. I feel like I can speak for a bulk of men. From a young age, we were taught that our only good attributes we can bring is working hard and making money. That's fucking it. Your looks don't matter. 
your emotions don't matter. Don't you know, don't worry about taking care of yourself because you know it doesn't fucking matter. Get up, go to work, make money. And that's all you fucking are. I haven't hugged my father since I was a child. Probably 10, maybe 11. I think when his mom died, 7th grade, so at 13, I hugged him then. That was the last fucking time that I can recall. Men don't hug. We don't tell each other we love each other. Other day, legit, my dad came over and I said, Dad, I love you. I don't know if he said it back. And he was taken so aback. For me saying that I love him, like, he was just in such fucking shock and awe. And that's just how the men culture is. And it's wrong. It needs to be revamped, but that's how it is. So when you compliment us, the rare times that it happens, deep down, we don't, we do believe you. We're going to act like we don't. We're going to act like whatever. But deep down, we're fucking thankful for that. Tell me you're proud of me. Tell us we look good. I promise you, you will change a man's day with a compliment. It means so much to us to receive it because it's so rare. That's it. You know, why do men's emotions not matter? We raise little boys today, feminism does, and teaches them that their emotions matter. And that they shouldn't bottle things up because they'll explode if they bottle things up. But as soon as this little boy becomes an adult and he's learned that his emotions matter and he speaks up on his emotions, feminism, well, they don't care about his emotions and they don't care about him. I mean, let's think about it. Even men don't approve of men having emotions, which now leads to more suicide in men because men disapprove and also women disapprove of men having feelings.